what's up YouTube family Gerald Greenlee here with Clean Green Lawn Service beautiful South Georgia really I using the term beautiful loosely this morning um, it flooded here yesterday evening which we need to rain so I'm not complaining about that uh, I actually see a few stars and the moon out It was so nasty yesterday evening. You don't know how nasty it was? Of course you do. It's so nasty, me and my wife ate at the house. Now, for those of y'all that know us, you know the weather was bad. <laughs> we didn't even go out to get nothing to eat, man. Um, so, anyway, I'm leaving early. I got to go down here and get the trailer. Uh, we got a short day today. Um, I got like two properties to do, and I think the other guys have like five. But it's going to be, I'm just letting everybody work. Um, I really don't need everybody today, but I didn't really look at the schedule in advance, and I'd already had everybody working, so it's all good, uh, you know. I'm I'm on uh, go pick up Z-Man, um, El Romo, 003, and Ace. When I say everybody's working, that that's the five I'm talking about. Um, they're going to uh, go do the five, and I mean, when I say five, I ain't talking five big ones either. Look at there, there's the Z-Man, 715. We already done the first one. We got the second one. Z's gonna cut this one. The wind blew the trash can over. Glad it wasn't full. Z's gonna cut this one. I'm gonna get all these lower pedalums here tightened up, man. Look at that crepe myrtle over there blooming. That looks good. And get it done. What you doing, Z man? Get the toe strap. Toe strap? Want you out of gas? <laughs> All right, let me get the wrecker off the truck. I don't even know if this old slick tired thing will pull anything. Had to be better than us. If nothing else, man, that, that makes good YouTube stuff. Now let's see if I can get my knot out. All right, check back with y'all. Man, it's always something. After the stuck lawnmower, Z went to crank the blower. And uh, the rope broke. So we had to ride 10 minutes to get a blower from the other guys. Ride 10 minutes back over here just to blow this thing off, so. Anyway. That's what we got going on. I was actually gonna take it to the dealer day and get the cord replaced because I noticed it was starting to fray. 
and what it is on that uh, BR800. I used to do this too, and I hadn't really told them not to, but the guys are better about cranking it with in, up on the trailer in the equipment defender rack, which means you pull it sideways, and it's just rough on that rope. So anyway, it is what it is, man. That's just that's just all part of it, you know. You have days like this, so the other guy's got two little small yards left, and then they'll be done. And we're gonna blow this off, and then we're done. We would have already been done, but like I said, it's just the way it goes. So anyway, let me get off here, man. How about that for getting it done, man? 9:50 in the morning. I've already. Uh, Drop, finish what we had to do today. Drop Z Man off. Been by the dealer. Got a new pull rope put in the uh, backpack blower. And man, I got some good news. My sand kit, my Super Z ain't here, but the sand kit for it came in. Um, that thing looks, it looks pretty nice, man. Uh, I should have took the video camera in there and got some video of it because I'm just going to let them put it on when the mower comes in. Let them go ahead and put that on before I even go get it. And, uh, you know, just uh, that way I, you know, because I'm guessing you got to take the spindles off. It bolts up through the spindles. So I don't know if it has the nuts on the bottom and you hold the top, drop the nuts and put it up. Uh, I'm not sure. Or even if you had to have longer bolts. I didn't even look in the packaging to see if they sent longer bolts with it. But I'm sure they got a little tech manual or something on it. That's not for me to worry about. I just need it installed. So, And it actually wraps and comes down the side some. So I know where some guys have had some issues with, the, uh, with it eating into the baffles. Uh, it comes down the baffles a couple of inches. Now the only, the only concern I would have with that... Is I don't know how much it might change. You know, I don't know if that would change anything with the airflow and all of that, but surely, well, you want to say surely they've tested it out, but then again, you don't ever know. So, um, but it is what it is. Uh, even if it messes up a little bit of airflow or whatever, I mean, I, I don't want to mess up a deck. And, that thing is 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 pretty thick. Uh, I believe it's as thick as that uh, deck on the X1. If it's not, it's real close to it. And so, the good thing about it, if you start having trouble with it, that sand kit, you can weld on the sand kit and still not weld on your deck. Um, now, would there be some downsides with moisture getting in between them and? You know, I don't know. Could be. Um, but. I done bought it now. We're going to put it on. We're going to put it on and see what happens. Uh, the other guys. They are probably. They probably about done too. Oh, I had one thing I wanted to show you. Frappuccino, man. Mocha. That's my reward at the end of the day. I still got some coffee, but I like these things, too. All right. I went and worked on my vinyl siding for about four hours. Got wet. It just kind of drizzled. Wasn't really raining, raining, but uh, anyway. Uh, I got a call from the guy over here that's got my Shindawa power head, my edger, and my uh, hedge trimmer. Says it's ready. Heck, they've had it for like this is day 15 because uh yeah so you know but they were waiting on parts i mean just the way it goes so, uh i worked on the vinyl side i think i should have showed y'all I'll, sh I'll try to show y'all what i did i'm gonna go back down there to drop the equipment off a vinyl side can be a slow process Putting the siding up is quick, other than cutting out around the windows and stuff. But the J channel, you know, channel and corners and bird boxes and all it, you know, because 
I had only did one bird box, now I've done two. I still haven't done the front corner. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I got to get those. Uh, I'll show y'all what I'm, what I got done. I got all the channel put on one side and started running the siding on it. So, uh, making some progress. What I need done is uh, I need that sheetrock done. In fact. I need to try to call that guy while I'm riding. See what's going on, man. All right, check back with y'all. All right, I got my equipment back. I uh, I mean, honestly, I should just took it to my dealer. I, I took it back over there because it's Shindawa, and he's a Shindawa dealer. Um but no, none of it covered under warranty I don't guess which the labor actually was cheap on it one but $38.50 for labor $8 for shop supplies but most of it was just parts anyway with the credit card they charge you a 3.5% on the credit card which I understand that it's $148.74 <laughs> out the door so uh, take money to make money right but looks to me like uh, he put a whole he put a whole new shaft on this one and he put a new uh, flex piece in there I think he put he put a new shaft on this and it must have also got the new flex deal let me check something here real quick because one of the things i noticed about this uh before i took it in like when you're using it um it still has that play in it and it may have always had some of that i don't really know Yeah, it looks like that's new right there, probably. So. And that's been redone. That, I think that plastic melted out of there. I guess it got too hot or something. It's probably why it ain't covered under warranty. It's probably just one of them things where... <laughs> it's probably one of them things where they consider it being abuse. <laughs> so, anyway... It's all good. Spent a bunch of money this week. Spent a bunch of money today. Bought that sand kit. Got the pull rope fixed on that steel. And that right there. Oh, that's about... That's about $550 today. Plus gas and all that. Payroll. <laughs> I didn't make no money today. I'll put it that way. Anyway, I did get something done on my house. So I tried to call the sheetrock guy. He didn't answer. You know how it is when you're waiting on people, they ain't going to answer you. <laughs> he probably busy. He's a good guy. Anyway, on the house today, got all the J channel up. Corners. Well, I already had that corner on. Got that corner on down there. Got the bird box built up there channel all the way around so running the siding i mean that that don't take very long other than cutting out around the windows but the rest of the siding will go pretty fast you know because i'll just put piece pieces on top and bottom of the window and then have to tie into it come over this one same thing and then finish off and then that little bit up there just like this i don't even have it I think that's going to be like a whole piece there almost. It's going to finish kind of funny. But anyway, it's coming together. I'll get this on. And uh, what I figured out though, I was down here working. I need to do this in the morning. See the other side. You got the trees on one side and the house. You're always in the shade over there just about. This side got warm out here this afternoon. 
if it hadn't been overcast, it'd have been worse than that. But anyway, this is it for today, man. It's uh, I don't even know what time it is. I'll tell y'all in a minute. Clock don't show up when I got the camera on. 354, man. 354. So by the time I get home and edit this and get it started uploading, hopefully y'all will get it tonight. And get myself off to church, man. Hey, appreciate y'all taking time to watch the video. And my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.